Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tata and today's video is going to be a video that I haven't really done on my channel before. In this new wave of my YouTube, I'm trying to change my YouTube from just being like vlogs and book videos. Like I want to have different kind of content. I'm going to be doing a tier list video. I'm going to try to make this like a series on my channel of doing different tier lists. But today I am doing one that I found on the tier maker. I just looked up romance book and it's this one. It's called the popular and indie romance books tier list maker. And I'll link it down below. I like glanced over this book list before I did it because I wanted to see if it was like books I knew. And this book list is like everything Steph Bohr has ever talked about. So I'm very, very excited. Disclaimer, I am not a big critic when it comes to books. Some books most people would have a million different opinions on. I don't, I don't care. Like, I, if I like a book, I like a book. If I don't like a book, I don't like a book. I'm not intellectual with my book opinions. So if you see one of these books and you're like, how does she like that book? Or you see another book and you're like, how does she not like that book? It's one of the best written books. Personal preference, not a harsh critic. I just wanted to disclaim before I got into this. Oh, so my list, my like ranking things is all time faves. Loved it. Good. Mediocre did not enjoy TBR and will not read. Because there's a couple that I looked over on here that I was just like, I'm not ever gonna read that. Like, I'm not. Let's get into it. Okay. First book, I'm just gonna go in order of the list that's on there. It kills me because I've already glanced since the Addicted Calories Sister series is out of order. But we're just gonna have to get past that. Look past it. First book on there is going to be A Thousand Boy Kisses. I read this April of last year. So it's been a while since I've read it, but I did really enjoy it. So I'm just gonna put it in good because it was before I've read a lot of books. So now that I've read 100 books, I probably would rate it differently. Good nonetheless, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I saw my eyes out like everyone. The next book is Song of Achilles. Straight to all time. <laughs> I love that book. We Were Liars. This is the book that made me do the last tier that will not read. I got it spoiled for me. Hot House Flower. If you know me, going to all-time faves. Kiss the Sky. All-time faves. Whole Tea. It's on my TBR. It's on my TBR. Taylor has the physical copy of it, and I really want to read it. The Deal. Something about Garrett and Hannah. The Mistake. I'm going to put this one and loved it. The Hating Game. I'm gonna make some people mad. I did not enjoy that book. Some Kind of Perfect. That's going number one. That's staying in the number one spot. That's my favorite book of all time. Room Hate. I'm not gonna read that. I just don't think it'll interest me. I don't think we would click. The score, I'm gonna put it in Loved It. It's a five star for me, without a doubt. I love that book so much and it's better the second time reading it. However, I don't think it compares to the ones that are in all-time phase right now. The goal, I'm gonna put in good. Wall of and Peg Me, another five star, but it doesn't compare, it's Loved It. Full Tilt and All In on my TBR. Taylor has the physical copies and so is Vicious. Defy, Bruckus, and Scandalous. Those are all on my TBR. We have them on Kindle. I just have not gotten around to reading them. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. All time faves. If you haven't read that book, read it. Archer's Voice is another one of my five stars, but doesn't compare. In other words, all time faves. So good. Deserves every bit of the hype. All time faves. You're going to notice a trend. Most of the Addicted series is going to be in all time faves. I'm so attached to that series. I think about it all the time. From the Cop with Love, TBR. Taylor has a physical copy. Sweetest Oblivion. I rated it a 4.5, but I'm gonna put it in good. I didn't mesh with that series. Long Way Down. Are we surprised? No. Pretty Ruckus. Reckless. TBR. Maddest Obsession, we're gonna put in good as well. I like Sweetest Oblivion better than Maddest Obsession. Red, White, Moral Blue. I don't think I'll read that. I don't think I'll ever read that, we're gonna be honest. Verity, all time faves. So good. Literally, so good. Oh, y'all help me. I'm just kidding. We're actually gonna put Bun Honeymooners in mediocre, mainly because of that one quote that's like, I can't remember what it is, but it's like really hot. Regretting you, I finally got the paperback. 
So that is in my TBR. Playing with fire. I don't think I'll ever read that. I just don't think I'll ever get to that. Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I DNF that book. So we're gonna put and did not enjoy it actually. I was going to read the Born and Blood Mafia series. However, everything that came out about Cora Riley and just the way that she acted with it makes me put all of these books in will not read because I will not read them. Greek God, TBR. Layla, TBR, got the paper copy. Broken Night, TBR. Heartburns, we're gonna put it in good. I thoroughly enjoyed that book. Addicted to You, loved it. Ricochet, loved it. Addicted for now, loved it. Thrive is a five star for me, but we're gonna put it in loved it because I just feel like that's where it goes. Addicted after all, all time faves. The Soulmate Equation, I will not read that book. Mainly because the main girl's name is Jessica and that just doesn't sit right with me. Darkest Temptation, will not read that book. I read the first two, I started and got to like page 40 and I stopped. Alex Approximately is on my TBR. All your perfects. I'm gonna make some people mad with that one. Good, I liked it, but it doesn't deserve the hype as some of them have. Beach Read, that is going and loved it. Birthday Girl, I'm not reading that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bully, TBR, once again, I have the paper copy. Confess, that's going and loved it. I did thoroughly enjoy it. Corrupt, we're gonna put this in good. I was really obsessed when I read these and now thinking back, I would lower all of their ratings, but originally, like, I don't want to because that's what I thought in the moment. Dear Enemy, I have not heard a single thing about that, so I'm not going to read it. Hideaway, I almost want to put it and loved it. I thoroughly enjoyed Hideaway. We're gonna put Hideaway and loved it. I think it's the most underrated one out of all of them. Hopeless, all time faves. That book deserves more hype. If you haven't read Hopeless by Colleen Hoover yet, read Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. It ends with us going right up to the top, right up to the top. Interference, Harlow Cole. I don't think you guys understand how much I love that duet. Oh my gosh, I loved it. All time faves, so good. Braden and Ashley, nobody talks about it and it makes me so sad. So if you haven't read Interference by Harlow Cole and you like Off Campus, you like the boys series, plot twist at the end of Interference leading into Ceiling Home, so good. Kill Switch, it was good. Do I think it deserved to be as long as it was? No. Losing Hope, we are going to put in Loved It because I did jerk thoroughly enjoy it. Love Hypothesis. Loved it. It was a five star. It's one of those five stars that I'm like, it was really good. I really loved it, but it doesn't, it's not an all time faves. I will not read maybe someday because there is a cheating show. Night Falls on my TBR because Taylor's obsessed with that. November 9. Loved it. First Colleen Hoover book I ever read and boy oh boy did it take a turn for me. I'm also going to make some people mad. I got like 150 pages in people, you know, get vacation app. That was the most boring book on the planet. So that's going and do not enjoy. Probably not gonna read the problem with forever. I'm gonna put Punk 57 in mediocre. I think that's valid. I think that's being nice. I'm being generous. Why is it not letting me make this the first one? I have so many problems with Serenity Heartbreak. So we're just gonna bypass them. We go Stealing Home! Loved it. Well, actually, no, that's all time faves. We're gonna put Spanish Love Deception in um, Mediocre because it was good. And Aaron Botford was, of course, like the unattainable male. However, it's not a five star or close to one for me. Truth about Heartbreak, Mediocre. It was interesting. Angst was there, but. I was so drawn out. Tier 6 Venom, I'm probably not going to read. I just, that book doesn't seem interesting to me. Ugly Love, loved it. Underneath the Sycamore Tree. I'm going to put it on TBR because I think I would read it in all honesty. That concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it and I'm going to be trying to get on a better schedule of posting. I'm not going to be so strict about when I post 
and such, but I am going to be a little bit better about posting. All my social medias are linked down below if you want to talk to me about books or anything. I have a book talk. It's just Tate's book talk. And then I also have my Goodreads. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.